We're back with Tiffany Williams. The album is All Those Days of Drinking Dust. And you just heard When I Come Back Around. Um, you live a busy life with lots of big pursuits. Um, how do you balance relationships with that? Oh, gosh. Um, I think for a while I didn't. Um, that's it. Man, you're, you're killing me with these questions today, Trevor. <laughs> um, I, I try my best to, okay, so here's, here's one answer to that. A lot of people I know and love I met through music. And so when I go to perform in Kentucky, I get to see a lot of, a lot of friends there. I also um, keep in touch with people, you know, the way that anybody does on, on phone or online. Um, as far as like, you know, deeper, more meaningful relationships. Um, I have a lot of <clears throat> friends who are understanding and who know that like I'm working nine to five and I'm also trying to go and be on the road during the weekends and on vacation. <clears throat> and so um, it's it's good when you when you trust a relationship and you know you can go back to that relationship and um, and it's still there. It's not damaged because you weren't tending to it. You know, and then also I have um, for the last, I don't know, year or so I've been so I met my current partner on tour and um, up in Saratoga Springs, actually, I went to an open mic and he was up there hosting. But because he does music, too, he sort of understands like I'm going to be depleted. I'm going to be running around all the time. And so I think the fact that I, I think the thing is to choose good people to have in your life and um and then they will understand when you're hustling and you can't always be there. They will forgive you for it. Yeah, it's, uh, you definitely lead a busy life and it sounds like those, those goals are sort of number one for you. Right now, yeah, because I think when you, anytime you're you're doing something like this um and it doesn't have to be just music i mean it could be a radio show it could be anything that you like i want to do this i want to make it happen um you have to be kind of singular in your pursuit and you also have to be your biggest advocate because nobody's going to care about it as much as you do so i feel like especially right now where i'm trying to gain traction you know because i'm still relatively new to this i didn't even want to sing when I first moved to Nashville, I was writing songs for other people. So um, I was I was really reluctant, actually, to get up on stage. And I probably didn't start doing that till maybe four years ago. So I do feel like, okay, I'm a little behind. I wish I wish I had started sooner. But here we are. And so I've got to make up for lost time, you know? Yeah. Um... How did you not realize you could sing? <laughs> <laughs> um, because I just never, I mean, I would sing in church a little bit. Really where I first, I mean, it's it's true. I'm not trying to be, hum, you know, falsely humble or anything. I truly, you know, if you don't do something, you don't know if you could do it or not. That's why it's good to try everything to see what your, what your thing is. But um, when I was, I always loved music and I was good at music. I was in middle school, I was, I played flute and I made, you know, the all state and all district bands, whatever. And, uh, and then I played baritone in high school. And so a college recruiter came and he said, would you play baritone in our band? And I said, yeah. And he said, if you want more scholarship money, the choir needs people. And I said, sure. And uh, they didn't even hear me sing a note and they put me in the choir. And that was the best thing that could have happened for me because I found my voice. I found my range. You know, I would try to compete with the guys who were, you know, when we would do our exercises, they would go down in the basement and I would try to keep up with them, you know. And uh, so... Yeah, I found my voice through that. I would get, I started getting solos for, um, I made chamber choir and I got a solo in chamber choir. And so, and also the, <laughs> the, the, one of the coolest things in, in all of my life has been when I sing 
and then I have people, you know, like, whoa, what was that? You know, because my choir director did that when I tried out for a solo and, and that just felt like such an affirmation, you know? So yeah, I didn't know I could sing until I started singing. I think everybody should try it and see what they've got. Yeah, um, on the album, uh, aside from sort of the know your worth, stand up for yourself theme going through it, there's also one of desire and wanting to find these loving connections. So, you know, it, it's, again, like, how how do you strike that balance between the being willing to die for love in a song like The Sea and then also wanting to, you know, know your worth and have a harder heart? <laughs> well, first of all, thank you for deeply, thoughtfully listening to the album. That means so, so much. Um, I think, I don't know, it, love runs the gamut, right? Like, it can be that you feel so, you know, I don't know, just so compelled and so tied to somebody that you, you know, you feel like you could, as if you could die for that person, you know, or so that sort of depth and then also the depth of longing i mean that's all part of it you know the the whole spectrum of of being in love or wanting love or thinking you have enough you know to 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 make it okay or i guess like in in wanted it to or yeah wanted it to be it's more of a you know i'll accept the love i am getting because i want the whole thing but if i can only have a portion of that then I'll take it, you know? So I don't know. That's a, that's something I would like to, because as I write each of these songs, I wasn't writing them as a collection. And so um, I think that it would be, that's a, that's a really interesting thing to think about, like the, the relationship of people to the concept of love or like what they are feel compelled to do because of a, of a relationship or a, a, a situation with, love that they find themselves in so yeah I didn't I didn't write it as a collection I just wrote them individually so it would be interesting to see like organically what came up in my writing you know or maybe I'll let you do that and you can tell me what it what it is yeah uh, I like the way sort of that when I come back around addresses both in a way uh-huh it has the going out and seeking your dreams and it has yeah. sort of, it has love on the back burner almost but yeah uh, but I, I think both it's and it's it's neat I guess that both people have the same experience and so they both can be understanding of it but I think too I guess if we if we dive a little deeper into that song the fact that they say will you wait for me you so even though you know i'm going out and i want to come back to you i understand that you might not want to wait for me i understand that there's a possibility you won't so um i think that uncertainty you know is is definitely a part of of it yeah it's uh i don't know when i listen to the song i'm I feel quite optimistic that it will. Yeah, yeah, because they're both in the same boat. But I think even though they're optimistic and even though they both they have, you know, empathy for each other, there's still that possibility because love is so fickle, right? There's still that possibility that you you won't be patient, you won't wait. Well, um thanks so much for talking to me. I always end on a pick a song category. Um wow. Oh, my words are not that great today. Um, uh, <laughs> I always end with having someone pick a song from a category. And being that you are a coal miner's daughter who addressed that right yeah. up front on the album, I'm going to have you pick a Loretta Lynn song. Okay. Um, you know, this is a song of hers. I don't want to go with the obvious one. 
with coal miner's daughter but let's do one you wouldn't yeah let's do blue kentucky girl because i was learning that as a cover the other day and i and i love the way that she does that one she didn't write that one but but it, i feel like it's quintessentially her song all right tiffany williams thanks so much for coming on thank you